Right, OK, so we're joined by the Bodkins now, who sound like a, a, a poor folk band from the 1960s, but they're not. They're much worse than that. No, sorry, they're much better than that. They're a loose conglomeration of um, four very talented people, uh, Simon, Dave, um, Matt and Dave. So, um, yeah, uh, we've been, as you can see, looking around, you can see the brilliant game we've been putting on, Cressy, 28 mil. So let's find out a bit about it. Start with you, Simon. Why, why Cressy? Is this a game? Is this a battle that you're particularly interested in? Yeah, well, I think all the Bodkins are interested in medieval games, and Cressy is one of those iconic uh, battles. It's the battle that effectively started the Hundred Years' War. Uh, it's uh, a victory against the odds, really, for the English. So it was something which we wanted to put on, and some of the Bodkins already started a collection with those armies, so it seemed a natural thing that we said, yeah, at some point we'll, we'll aim to get this game on. Okay, so the, and the most striking feature is obviously the, the colours of the figures on display, so we've got some brilliant medieval heraldry here. Uh, did, did everyone everyone contribute to that? Matt, bring you in on this, Matt Bickley. Did, did everyone contribute with regards to figures? Yeah, well, we, we split it up into four, basically, so... Me, David and Simon took the French and David did the English. So everyone paints their portion. So about 30 bases of mounted knights uh, per person on the French side and Dave did the rest of the English. Mostly archers. So you took on the archers then, Dave? Yeah, they're quite easy to paint, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's why you did that one. Um, how many figures are in total? I don't know, we've not actually... Just, just shy of 300 cavalry, we reckon. I think it's about 300 English. Yeah, about 300 so, English. And um, well, who's the manufacturer? Um, there's quite a lot of old Citadel Bretonians, um, some front rank figures, uh, some foundry figures, some Claymore castings, and um, a few so let's, e -bob ones. Let's talk to yeah. Mr. Claymore e -bob castings now, Blattery. David Imry. Uh, so, some of your figures on the table. Yes. Um, both manufactured by and painted by you. A lot of great vignettes as well. Obviously, that's one of those striking things as well. Was that something that you, you were consciously focusing on? I mean, some great looking centrepieces. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the casualties that were that were suffered by the French um, during the charge had to be betrayed in some way. So fallen horses, dead, and table fillers, and all the different things that tell the story. Um, Simon uh, managed to paint some wagons filled with pavasses. Um, one of the common beliefs that the, the Genoese failed was the fact that they didn't have their large shields with them, that they were back in the French wagon train, so that had to be modelled and Simon stepped up to do that. Oh, okay. and, and how did the game play out, Matt? How did the game play out today? Uh, initially, it was quite historical. The first charge went in, punched a big hole uh, in, the, in the English line, uh, knocked the Black Prince over, uh, and then everything else tended to fall off the hill, but then it came back and now the English are off to Calais, early boat home. Oh, right. <laughs> so you did, you did get to a conclusion then, as you say, everyone's packing up around us, but you just about got there in the end. Yeah. What rules were you using? Uh, Hail, Caesar. Hail Caesar. Well, it's a marvellous looking game. Well done, boys, and well done for winning the uh, best of show, as voted for by me. Uh, so, yeah, congratulations, everyone. <laughs>